please stand? take this time to thank each of you for coming and sharing in their special day, for being a witness of their vows, their pledge that they will give to each other today as they start their life together before Almighty God, you and their friends and family. Aaron, the Bible plainly states in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, the Lord God said it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Who gives this woman to this man? Her mother and I. You may be seated. Aaron, you're going to wonder why I keep talking to you. The Bible says in Genesis 2.24, Therefore man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. I want to tell you what the word join means in Hebrew. It means a solid cement, something that can't be broken apart. What you're doing today is you're coming into an age old since the beginning of time tradition that God has ordained himself. You ready for this? Let's get it on, bro. <laughs> now I want both of you to turn just face me for a moment because I just think you're so good looking. And Amber, I gotta tell you something, girl. There's a lot of different families here today. And on his side, we all came from great grandma and great grandma graves. You one of the finest things coming this family in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the family. Aaron and Amber, I truly believe that God has that someone special for each of us to be joined together on this earth as they share their life together. Today you will be acknowledging before God, these men and women, that you are that couple. Do you agree with that? When I asked Aaron and Amber to share a little bit with me of how they felt about each other, this is what I received, and I want you to know these are exact words. I didn't add anything. Amber said, I met Aaron <clears throat> through a mutual friend. I first met him when I was 15. He really had a crush on me, but I was not really into him. I actually thought he was super weird. <laughs> then Aaron, now they didn't know what each other wrote here. Aaron said, the first time I met Amber, I was immediately drawn in. I thought she was the most beautiful thing that I'd ever seen. <laughs> we met through my roommate's sister, whom I'd known for years. Amber didn't really talk much when I first met her. I wish that was still the case. <laughs> he goes on to say, I didn't know whether she was just shy or she hated me. She flirted with me a lot and never really ignored me, but she always acted distant and was weirded out by me. <laughs> so here we are, we haven't really got into the ceremony and we already found out that Amber talks too much and Aaron's weird. <laughs> so let, let's go and see what else we got here. Amber says, we lost touch for a few years, then in November of 2011, I came across his Facebook page and messaged, messaged him to see how he was doing. Well, then Aaron on the other hand says, it was about three years later when she messaged me out of the blue on Facebook. Honestly, she looked so different, I had completely forgotten what, who she was since she had just dropped me like a hot potato and left me about three years early. Oh my God. Amber then goes on to say, now, okay, here's your chance. 
the first time we kissed was a good memory that I had because it was almost like a movie. Aaron likes to draw, and I, he asked me, I asked him to draw a tattoo on my hand with a pen. When it was my turn to draw a tattoo on his hand, he handed me the pen. Well, to be honest, I cannot draw, so I wrote, kiss me on his hand. Later that night, he updated his Facebook status to, I think I'm in love. She said that's a memory that she'll never forget. But Aaron, on the other hand, we started talking again and hanging out more often. She told all of her friends that the reason she remembered me was because of how good I treated her during our brief moment when we first met. She also told her friends that since I was a potential keeper, she was going to show me her true colors right from the start. Obviously, I passed the test since they're standing here right now. But I am. I sometimes, now I had to bring this down to a PG level so y'all please, I, I, I had to change some words. I am sometimes hard to handle with my strong opinions and my no bull jive tendencies. Aaron says there's something about her don't have bull jive attitude that just drew me in. I wasn't looking for an emotional girl who couldn't take care of herself. Amber and Aaron then finally got together and they sent me this. I think Amber did most of the writing. It says, <clears throat> We still make each other laugh and still compromise where compromises do, but it's usually in Amber's favor. According to Aaron, happy wife, happy life. That brings us to the fact we pretty much had nothing in common. We are living proof that opposites do attract. We don't have the same taste in food. Amber eats like a little kid, chicken nuggets, macaroni and pizza. Aaron eats healthy, get this, spinach, onions, and mushrooms. There's going to be a lot of rough mornings waking up. Aaron is a neat freak. Amber, more of a free spirit. Aaron likes to play it. Amber says, I'm more of a go with the flow. We usually don't like the same music unless it's country. Aaron likes to wake up early. Amber likes her beauty sleep. Despite everything we may not have in common, we always respect each other's differences and appreciate the fact that our differences make us who we are. The things we do have in common is what makes us such a strong unit. We like the same funny movie quotes. We like to play Jeopardy, and sometimes it gets competitive. <laughs> you ready to laugh? Aaron says the one thing we really have in common, we're just so, both so darn good looking. <laughs> we're beautifully different from each other, and that makes us, us. And I think that was beautifully put. We are best friends before anything. We have a strong, loyal, and honest friendship, and that is the firm foundation of our relationship. We make each other laugh, and no matter how mad we can make each other at times, we are always there for one another, no matter what. When it comes down to it, there isn't anything on the planet that we would rather do than spend time together through the good, the bad, or the indifferent. That is their little biography together. Aaron and Amber, you have made a joint decision to come together today and become one in the eyes of God and man. If you agree, will you please turn and face each other? Aaron, I'm going to ask you, would you please take Amber's hand and repeat after me? Okay, speak loud. I, Aaron, I, Aaron take you, Amber, take you, Amber, to be my lawfully wedded wife, be my, lawfully wedded wife my constant friend, my, constant friend, my, faithful, partner, my faithful partner, my love, my love from this day forward. In the, let's get the note, please. In the presence of God, our family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful husband and your partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, in joy as well in sorrow. I promise you, Amber, to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you. To laugh, to laugh and cry with you and, cry with you. and to cherish you for as long as you both shall live. Now, Amber, I just want you to look deep in your eyes. I want you to repeat after you. I am, I am her. Take you, Aaron, take you to be my lawfully wedded husband, my, husband. my constant friend, my, constant friend. My, faithful partner. my faithful partner, my love, my love. from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends, 
I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful wife and partner. To be your faithful wife and partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as in sorrow. In joy as well as in sorrow. I promise you, Aaron. I promise you, Aaron. To love you unconditionally. To love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you, to laugh with you, and to cry with you, to cry with you, and to cherish you, and to cherish you for as long as we both are children. For as long as we both share. Now, Aaron, Amber, I want to say something to you. In the presence of God and these witnesses, I want to charge you. What charge means? I want to give you some very wise advice. In the future, if you want to be happy, you're going to have to have a foundation that's in God, mutual consideration, mutual patience, mutual kindness. Mutual confidence and mutual affection for each other. Aaron, according to the Bible, it is your duty to love Aaron, Amber, as yourself, to provide tender leadership and protect her from danger. Amber, according to the Bible, it is your duty to treat Aaron with respect, support him, and to create a happy, healthy home. In any good marriage, there will be disagreements and arguments. This is not a bad thing, but rather, you are just getting an awesome opportunity to learn how to get along with your spouse. Now, this is my words of advice to you. One word of advice to both of you. When these arguments and disagreements come, and they will, be very, very cautious of who you trust and share your feelings with about your spouse. The more people you tell about your personal married life, the more people you will have that will judge your spouse after the two of you have made up and forgotten whatever you were arguing about in the first place. It is the duty of each of you to find the greatest joy in the company of the other. To remember that in both your interests and affections, you are to be unforgotten. Now, do we have the rings? What I'm going to ask you to do, just do me a favor, just hold the rings. And I'm going to ask everybody, please close your eyes. We're going to pray. Okay. Father God, we bless the giving and the receiving of these rings. May Aaron and Amber abide in your peace and grow in their knowledge of your presence through your loving union. May the endless circle of these rings become the symbol of their endless love for each other and serve to remind them of the holy convocation they have entered into today to be faithful, loving, and kind to each other. Dear God, may we live in your grace and be ever true to each other. Amen. Amen. Aaron, would you take your ring and would you please place it on Amber's left hand and repeat after me. Amber, I give you this ring. A complete circle. A symbol of my unending love. Of our vows. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. With this ring. I be with you. Amber, could you get your ring? Did you place it on Aaron's left hand? And repeat that thing. Aaron, Aaron, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. A complete circle. A complete circle. A symbol of my unending love. A symbol of my unending love. Our vows. Our vows. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. All that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. Son, of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. With, this ring, with this ring, I'll be with you. Now I'm just going to speak a blessing of you. Amber, Aaron, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Those who God has joined together, let no man put asunder. As much as Aaron and Amber have exchanged vows of commitment, exchange rings of unity by the power invested in me by almighty god in this great state of virginia i now pronounce you man and wife Woo! you may kiss your hand please face the fall it gives me great pleasure to announce to you mr and mrs aaron o'brien would you please stand
if I can have your attention just for a moment, they're going to have hors d'oeuvres over here and refreshments. Please go over there and help yourself. They're going to have to move all the chairs and stuff over here, and they're going to take pictures. So we need to clear this area. Thank you for being patient as soon as possible. Thank you so much for coming. Next up, parents of the room, Kim Wingo and Buzzy O'Brien. Shelby O'Brien. Chubby. Oh, oh. Go Chubby. <laughs> Go Chubby. Go Chubby. Where's <laughs> Buzzy? Is he back over there? Nope, nope. Best man, raise your hand, wave in the air like you just don't care. Buzzy O'Brien. <laughs> Maid of honor, Brittany Cochran. Once again, Mr. and Miss Aaron O'Brien. to speak with them and get together what they liked and uh, they had the song picked out for the first dance as husband and wife Brad Paisley it's called them trying not to stay the night when I first met you, you had me mesmerized. And three weeks later, in the front porch light, taking 45 minutes to kiss goodnight, I hadn't told you.
Now you're my whole life Now you're my whole world I just can't Better service is this afternoon's, especially you guys writing all your new, your information up and having them read it out in your service. That was beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to start off the buffet this afternoon, so let them go through. Official wedding party, and then everyone else join in. Thank you. limits to after the banner is over. The use facilities are on the far side of the lawn. Smoking area is over to my left.
she get the faucet? No, she doesn't get the faucet. Oh, that's just an old kind of faucet. Well, you know, thanks, Tane. I don't know me. I'm Brittany, Amber's best friend. I like to 
Unscripted parts are the best. Amber, you ready to dance with your father? Yeah. We'll take the stage in front of the uh, the time feed area in front of the pool. That's all right. Got to run back over there. Now is when real hard words happen. This is when I'm glad I have two boys. Get your cameras ready, here we go. Turn around 
something you've almost grown Sometimes you're asleep, I whisper I love you in the moonlight at your door As I walk away, I hear you say Daddy, love you more
We got a lot more going on this evening. We're gonna kick it up. Let you guys take the dance floor if you like. You got a request? Come up. Let me know. I'll do my best to get it on for you. You guys ready? on their nose or
cha-cha-cha, left step, cha-cha-cha. Y'all with me? And then there's a tricky part. You gotta step out and back it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It starts all over again. Just if you jump in this end, be, be advised. Oh! I can't. All the shorties in the club, let me see your chest. Here we go, here we go, five, six, seven, eight. Take it back. To the right. To the left. Right. Yeah. 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 Five, six, starts all over. Push it up, push it up. 
Get up, get up, get up. 